Hey, what's up YouTube and GPK fam? It's your boy Retro Hero back doing another Garbage Pail Kids show and tell. This one's number 26. In today's episode, I'm taking you guys back old school. It seems like it's been so long since we've done a show and tell, probably four or five weeks, maybe even longer. Lots of great things that have come in the mail, and I'm going to go ahead and share those with you today, mostly because I am sure everybody is tired of watching those 35th anniversary collectors' boxes and tins opening. You're tired of watching that Chrome 3 and all those massive hits. You're tired of those openings, right? Well, wrong. However, I already have my 35th anniversary base set. I already have my Chrome 3 base set. In fact, I'm waiting on seven more cards. Thank you, Tim Bailey. When those come in, I'll give you some props for hooking a brother up with the last couple cards that I needed. So I am moving on. It's about GPK on a budget. Once I get those sets together, I have a box that's sealed in my collection. I move on. So here is me moving on. We're talking about all this cool stuff that has come in the mail. Uh, super excited to share some foreign items that have come in. Those are really cool back there. I've got artist autographs and sketch cards and plate cards and new sets. So many cool things. Let's not forget about that 500 subscriber giveaway right there. We blew past the 250 subscriber and are well on our way to 500 subscribers. Thank you. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And of course, thank you to all my loyal following. That is a 1985 second series wax pack graded by PSA a seven. And that is going to go out to one of my subscribers once the channel reaches 500 subscribers. A couple really cool giveaways I alluded to in the last episode, which was our special episode for the 250 subscriber giveaway. Um, first one, GC Laredo 207. Man, he was super kind. He said, hey, Retro Hero, I already got one of these. Um, go ahead and give this out to uh, another one of your viewers. So we're going to draw for this today. This is a sealed pack of the four magnet cards and gummy, albeit crummy, candy. And then, of course, that Sun Bernie magnet card. And we're going to do a drawing at the end of the video for one of those original artist autograph cards that you see back there. So why don't you sit back, relax, and let's have some fun. <music> Welcome back, and we're doing a couple giveaways this time around. The first one was, if you remember the last episode, the Show and Tell special, that was the 250 subscriber giveaway. Again, congratulations, Darren Anderson. This was the second drawing. This went out to GC Laredo 207. If you don't know who he is, check out his channel. It'll be in my descriptions. However, Avo uh, messaged me and said, hey, Retro Hero, man, I, I already got a bunch of those. Why don't you give that out to another subscriber? So per Avo's generosity, this is going out to another one of my subscribers today. So we're going to have two giveaways on this video. So another milestone for the channel. But this is the four magnet cards and gummy candy. It is sealed, and this is the Sun Bernie magnet card. How do you get involved in these giveaways? Well, it is really simple. Number one, you need to be a subscriber to my channel. Number two, leave a comment in the latest video. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know you just want to be entered into the drawing or the giveaway, whatever you'd like to do. And the third one, not necessary, but if you'd be so kind, give me a thumbs up. It does make me feel good about myself. Keep me motivated doing more of these videos and sharing my loot with you. This is the 35th anniversary 
trash can tin and this was the graffiti one so excited to have this it makes for a, a really cool drawing giveaway a lot better than the old card savers that i had if you left a comment in the last video at least as of noon today your name is in here and we're going to go ahead and pick a winner let's kind of shake these all around and today's winner all right if your name is dylan theo Dylan Theo, congratulations. You, sir, are the winner for the four magnet cards and gummy candy and the Sun Bernie card. So again, congratulations, Dylan Theo. And Dylan, I'll pin your name in the comments. What you need to do is reply to me underneath your YouTube name and we'll connect via Gmail and I'll get those mailed out to you. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Okay, let's do the show and tell portion of today's episode. Um, before we really get too deep into these cards, I wanted to point out that adorable magnet back there. If you recognize the art, that is from GPK Nick, Nick Castadilla. Uh, Nick is a great Topps artist. Um, you know, I'm a fanboy of Nick because I like how he brings his new approach to a lot of classic Garbage Pail Kid art. And I'd like to see this um, continue to progress and keep it fresh for collectors like me, people that have been collecting for 15, 20 plus years. Um, so I, thank you for the magnet, Nick, but that is just one piece of the pie. Um, connect with Nick on the Garbage Pail Kid Marketplace. Um, Nick was selling a poster. Now, he did this poster before he was a Topps artist, my understanding. Um, it is on great paper stock. It's probably the size of, you know, I don't know, maybe two legal sheets of paper. I'm still waiting for a custom frame coming in so I can put this up. But let me kind of scroll up on this poster for you so you can get a good idea of what this is. I think it's really cool. What I like about GPK Nick is, man, he brings like that Saturday morning cartoon style to Garbage Pail Kid art. And this poster really reflects that. This is a very welcome piece to my collection. Thank you, GPK Nick. And for those of you out there that wanna order these, just hit him up, go to the Garbage Pail Kid Marketplace on Facebook, um, type in GPK Nick, send him a message, he'll get back with you. Um, I believe it's 15 bucks, it might be 20, I, I, I don't remember offhand, it's been a couple of weeks since I got it, but uh, throws in a magnet, some stickers, and a really cool business art card. So thank you so much, Nick, for that. Um, some foreign items that have come in the mail. Wow, uh, Tommy Gunn. So um, I got the Les Kratos card. This is uh, French Garbage Pail Kid cards. This is from 19, I believe 1988. And a really, really nice card. Some sharp corners. Got a little corner ding over there. But, you know, these foreign Garbage Pail Kid cards, man, they make some trips to get here. Um, so if, if you got a couple corner dings here and there, I usually don't threat too much about that. But uh, Tommy Gun, this is going to be a little Tommy Gun rainbow. Um, this next one is the Bassaritas Tommy Gun. Again, same type, number 83. And I really like these Bassarita cards. These are becoming more and more difficult to find. And this one is in pretty darn good condition for a Bassarita card, considering that they are um, a pretty simple paper stock. So let me hope that I don't uh, slaughter this name, um, La Pendilla Basara. And I believe this one is a Spain Garbage Pail Kid card. Um, one of my first Garbage Pail Kid cards from Spain, at least from this series. Um, I believe these came out in the 80s as well, um, 1988, 1989, but a very welcome addition to my collection. And then, of course, just another Scorpions, which is the Italian Garbage Pail Kid cards. I love these Scorpion cards. They're absolutely beautiful. And this is a very welcome addition to my foreign Garbage Pail Kid collection. So very happy to have that. Thank you, Santos Chapa, for that. Now, uh, GPK Till Death really hooked me up. Um, I don't have a lot of die total Kabutin kids. I do have some sealed packs. You've seen them in videos before. However, um, I am trying to put together a set. This is one of those more pricey sets. I, I almost put it with the Bassaritas. Um, these cards are a few dollars a piece. 
Um, this one, Die Total Kabooten Kids, is from 1994. They are Germany Garbage Pail Kid cards. Um, we'll take a look at our boy Battered Brad there, but uh, really nice looking. They are sticker cards meant to go in the album. Um, they are pretty pretty small. I, I would say they're probably just a, a touch or a tad smaller than uh, the UK Garbage Pail Kid cards. Um, but they are stickers. You peel them off. You put them in an album. Um, I don't, but uh, you can. Um, there's Battered Brad. Uh, really cool one there is Junker Punker right there. Halloween Jack O' Lantern. Um, lots of different characters. The numbers are up here in the corner, and then, of course, they're also on the back of the card. These are in absolutely stellar and beautiful condition. This is 2020 appropriate um, and absolutely adorable. What a great card. Um, these are, are just very, very welcome additions to my collection. Um, I believe the set of the Die Total Kabooten Kids goes all the way from Original Series 2, um, 3, 4, 5, 11, and I am thinking 12 is right. Don't quote me on that. But uh, they have a majority of cards in there. What you will notice by the Germany Garbage Pail Kid cards, especially this run around, are these cards, um, anything that had a political overlay in it, um, anything that had any type of wet weapon in the cards, was pretty much removed from those series um, that I just talked about because, um, well, first off, it's Germany and they didn't want any of the United States politicalness in their cards. And second off, um, you know, they, they really did have kind of an issue with um, the original series of Garbage Pail Kid cards that rolled out in the 80s there. Um, if I remember correctly, I believe the government banned the cards. And this was the second run around. So, but these are very welcome additions to my collection. It's nice. I don't know. I, I probably got uh, 30 of them or so, um, which is a really good start for my German Garbage Pail Kid collection. So very excited to add those and a welcome addition. Um, okay, so if you're on the forums, um, and I'll talk a little bit about the forums here today because I've received a couple of questions. They just rolled out that the um, the, the GPK, uh, what is this, the, the marketplace, uh, what, I got to remember what this is called. This is the, um, the GPK Nation, that is what it is. I apologize. Um, they make the challenge coins. And again, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not really into the challenge coins. However, they did a really nice Christmas gift for everybody. They said, go ahead and go on our site, use this promotional code for this day, and you get $25 off anything. If it's less than $25, all you need to do is pay for shipping. So I did. I got this absolutely adorable Atom Bomb patch. Um, he is really, really cute. And then I just saved their little card that they had with that. So really nice Christmas gift. Um, I, I'm unsure if Adam Goldberg is is somehow with the GPK Nation or is that his thing. But uh, they do challenge coins. They do Christmas ornaments. Man, they, they do a ton of stuff and it's all really cool. So if you want to go ahead and support them, you'll see their link in the description. It is www.gpknation.com, as you can see on the card. Um, I don't know if this special is still going on. I know they did just one more a couple days ago, um, but they're only around for a day or two. But if you had a chance to take advantage of that, and I did, um, you got a really cool little gift. So thank you, GPK Nation, a welcome addition to my collection. Um, behind the GPK Nation, let's grab these. Um, I was pretty stoked to get these. We've seen them before. They are the glow in the dark cards. This is the entire set. Um, it comes with 10, and they all say glow in the dark on the back. The neat part about these cards, and, and I'll take one out for you in a minute. Let's just go through the set. You got Adam Bomb and Wacky Jackie, Boy Slobby Robbie. Rainy Janie, I just love that tooth. Uh, if you guys um, check out uh, Bryman's um, totally awesome collection, he's got a channel on YouTube. He did a really funny video, and I probably watched it 10 times, and he did voices for the characters. But regardless, I digress. I apologize. Um, New Wave Dave, Jolted Joel, Hot Scott, 
um, Roy Bot, great card, Jules Drools, and Invisible Manuel. So um, these are glow in the dark. So what happens when you turn out the lights? Uh, of course, a design on the card glows. I'm gonna take Atom Bomb out for you and take it out of its little penny sleeve. Um, you can kind of see on the card, let me get it up close. That is what the glow in the dark uh, paint is like on the card so when you hold it up to a light and then you, you know you come really close it should glow in the dark um i have messed around a little bit with this because i'm a big giant kid at heart and they do glow for a little bit they're pretty cool but they're gonna go in storage as another really cool parallel set so thank you and again a welcome addition to my collection um okay lots of other things uh, I'm expanding out a little bit. Um, I said I'd never do this. Um, I didn't really want to get involved in the cheap toys. However, uh, they are cons considerably rising in value, and it, it, at least for what they're selling for on eBay, almost everything in Garbage Pail Kids is is on the rise, or, or non-sports in general, really. But uh, I did pick up a couple. Anytime I find a really good price, um, as far as I'm concerned, GPK on a budget, right, folks? Um, I will pick these up. This is Crater Chris. He is a fleshy color, absolutely adorable. You know that they are cheap toys because they will have, and it is super duper duper hard to see, and I apologize. Let's see if I can even get that to focus in. But they'll say right on the back, they'll say cheap toys and give you the year. Um, be careful when you're buying these. Make sure you're not buying the minikins. Not saying that the minikins aren't cool. They are cool. Um, however, they are substantially less in value than these cheap toys. And there's Mugged Megan. Um, absolutely adorable little cheap toys. And this one might be a little bit easier to see. Yeah, well, I did the best I could here for you. So I've got a couple of those. I do have a couple sealed cheap toy bags. Um, one's got an atom bomb in it coming here soon um, and a few others, but uh, I like them. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't put together maybe a set or two. There's lots of different colors and you can go deep down the rabbit hole with cheap toys with some neon colors where they become, you know, 50, 60, 70, even $80 a piece. I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, however, uh, I'd like to at least get a set of all the figures, even if they're not the same color. Okay, so um, a few other cool things. So GPK on a budget, again, uh, you know, Chrome 3 came out. A lot of people spending their money on Chrome 3. Some people want to want to sell or trade items to get Chrome 3. A couple people getting out of the hobby or thinning down their collections. And I stepped in and I thought I picked up a couple really cool rainbows. So this is uh, Tom Bunk art and this is the Bald Edgar rainbow. Now, the Bald Edgar is from... Um, American is apple pie in your face. And this is just the standard base card. And then of course you've got the green, the pea yellow or whatever you want to call that, of course. And then you've got the fat pack, the black. We've got the bruised blue, number 57 of 99, the blood red, 48 of 75. And the last one here is the gold card. And that's 27 of 50 for the Bald Edgar Rainbow. And a nice little rainbow. I thought I picked that up for really a steal. You know, maybe just uh, an Andrew Jackson there. But uh, hey, you know, I didn't have the rainbow and now I do. And it is a welcome piece for my collection. In addition to Bald Edgar, I picked up Cracked Mac. Now, Crack Mac is from the 2014 Series 2. Um, this is the Brent Engstrom autograph for Cracked Mac. So, very nice autograph, very cool card. Kind of festive for this time of year. And then, of course, you have the base card, and you have the green, and then the black, and then, of course, 
Um, this again is not just another black, but this is the textured card. And I promised in my last video when I when I said I was going to find out a little bit more about these, I, I really haven't. But these textured cards, they're they're nice. These are in great condition. Um, I don't know what this parallel was exactly, or if it was difficult to find. Um, but I promised to get you some answers. There's the red and the silver. And of course the negative receptive card, and then of course the gold card here for Crack Mac. So very welcome addition for my rainbow collection. And I have a few other rainbows. Uh, this one was kind of neat. Um, I was hoping to get the plate card, but someone else picked it up. Uh, David Gross autograph, Obsessed Olga. Very, very nice. And again, I believe this is as American as apple pie, eight of 25 for the artist's autograph. Wanted to make sure just the base card, of course, and then you've got the green and the black and the blue, 20 of 99, and the gold card there, 19 of 50. A very welcome rainbow to my collection. Excited to have that. And then a few videos ago, I talked about... Um, picking up a nice rainbow of Responsible Able. Um, Santos Chapa was selling a couple plates. I love Dr. Zeus. I love the books. I read them to both my kids, albeit they're, they're college age now. So again, they don't care about that. But um, I did get two plates. I got the magenta printing plate, one of one for 30B Irresponsible Able. Very nice plate for my collection. And then of course I received the black printing plate. Um, the black printing plate is always, or typically one of the best printing plates um, because they have the name on them. However, they're also the most used of the printing plates. And, and let me explain to you what exactly that means. These are our true printing plates. I mean, Topps uses them in case you, you, you're not familiar with what the printing plates are. Um, it even has some of the ink up top there. But if you look at this printing plate, and it's easy to see from the back, this is well used printing plate. I mean, Top says has used and abused this. <laughs> so um, a lot of times they come beat up like this. Um, I think it's cool. It adds to the history of the printing plate and the nostalgia. Um, I really like these printing plates, not because they're valuable, although they do hold some value, um, more so because this was something historically used to print this specific card, and they're really, really cool. And this is a very welcome addition to my collection. So Irresponsible Able printing plates. Now I have a full rainbow of Irresponsible Able. Uh, the next step is just to put that in a couple holders and display it. Um, all right, so just a few sets I picked up. Um, you know, a couple of people on the channel asked me some questions. When did I start collecting? Uh, you know, going back through my videos, you know, I bought the pink uh, wrapper OS ones when they came out in 85. Um, mostly I bought them at Quick Shop when I was up there playing video games. You know, I was, I was 11 years old. Um, but I really remember series two. Uh, my dad and I, who, my dad's passed, but you know, our business was when I was preteen was selling sports cards and non-sports cards. So um, we bought a case of series two and put together sets for baseball card show. And uh, I believe we sold out. Um, and, and we never bought another case after the original series two. I, I, I don't think my parents really approved of garbage pail kid cards, not because they thought they were too gross. Um, my dad thought that sports cards actually held a uh, better value, at least for what we were doing. So, and he, and he was probably right. Um, nowadays, looking at it, well, he was he was definitely wrong. If you have a couple cases of OS one and OS two, well, you got yourself a gold mine. But um, I, I saved all my cards upwards, uh, maybe the tenth or eleventh series. I stopped collecting after that, um, and then I picked it up again in two thousand and six, and have been collecting since then. So, a little history. Um, what I didn't get are these all new series. So I have been going through and I have one, um, I have three, I have five, six. The only one I still need is seven because I picked up number two and number four. Um, I picked these both up on, I believe the Garbage Pail Kid Collective. Um, they're in wonderful condition. They are the full set, um, ANS2 here. They're gonna go right into a binder after I uh, finish my show and tell about these. 
but uh, I always like them. They picked up a wrapper. Now I do have unopened boxes of these. However, I, I you know, I just haven't opened them. Um, you know, saving boxes to me uh, that are that are still unopened are are equally as as neat as having the complete base card sets. Um, so this one is a great set, the all-new Series 4. Um, I think you guys heard me talk about the all-new Series 6. Um, that was a set that I actually started collecting and, and pieced together by buying packs, both from the dollar store and and from uh, from retail markets. So um, that set, all-new Series 6, holds a special place in my heart. It is uh, like my OS1 set, original Series 1, um, something that I would probably never get rid of, even though it's, it's less than mint. So um, very welcome addition. And those are going to go into a couple of binders. Um, all right, so art cards. Uh, Victor Marino, uh, I commissioned him to do a art card on his original cardstock. Um, he was nice enough to do a video of this around Halloween. Um, I do have it saved on my Facebook. Okay, so um, super nice of him. But uh, uh, Garbage Real Kids, uh, favorite character, Up Chuck. Everyone knows it. Um, I just asked him to do a Halloween theme for me, and he's um, obviously regurgitating some Halloween candy here. Uh, he makes this look so easy. This card is absolutely just beautiful, beautiful. And, and he was like, oh, this is one of the easier characters to draw. So uh, I can't do it. Um, a very welcome addition. Thank you. Thank you, Victor Marino. Um, this will definitely have a place of honor in my collection. And then uh, just picked up a nice dead Ted um, 35th uh, year or 35 years of untold stories came out right before the 35 year anniversary set. Um, artist is Jimenez. Um, very, very cool card. I think I, I, I like the colors on it. I got a great deal on this card and it will go with my sketch cards and a very welcome addition to the collection. And in addition to that, uh, I believe the seller just threw in a couple of these cards. So again, hey, the man, the myth, the legend, Santos Chapa, appreciate it, brother. Um, you hook a guy up all the time. So thank you for that um, dead Ted and Jay Decay sketch card and the extra cards that went with that. All right, so uh, ending or winding down the video, let's talk about a couple of these artist autographs. Um, Cindy Sellers is on a lot of the Facebook forums. Um, I picked this up on Garbage Pail Kids, deal or no deal. Um, when I find something I like, I bid what I think it's worth. And and typically, if if you're the high bidder, how this works is is you get the card. So um, I was on these. First things first, this is a Jay Lynch autograph. Um, rest in peace, Jay Lynch. I believe he passed away in 2017. Um, great comic book artist, great garbage pail kid artist. Um, I did not have a Jay Lynch autograph. They are becoming harder and harder to find. What a great card this is on. So um, a very, very welcome addition to my collection and that will go in storage. Um, anytime you can get a Brent Engstrom artist autograph uh, on a card, it's wonderful. Um, I like how he signed in the silver shop Sharpie there and this is Breakin' Brandon. Very nice card and a welcome addition to the collection. Now this one kind of has a neat story. This is Hacked Hogan and Hack Hogan, I believe, came from the all-new Series 6 because I remember it was one of my favorite cards to get in that series. However, the art was done by Luis Diaz, um, did the actual art, but the concept art and the concept for this card came from Mark Pinator. Um, so he signed it, Pingo7, that is how he signs cards. Um, and I, I was stoked to get this. You will very rarely find a Pingator autograph on a card that he did not necessarily do the art. Um, he did the concept art, which is cool, and he signed the cards, so a very welcome addition to my collection. Um, have a nice place of honor for that. And then, uh, you know, I don't have a Leron autograph, uh, Leron, and this was a great card and a great price, so I picked that up. Nice to have one of those artist autographs uh, for Leron in my collection. He's a great artist. I know he does uh, some commission work, so if you're interested in hitting him up, make sure you check him out on those Facebook forums. These are two David Gross art artist autographs. David has uh, just an amazing talent. Um, he is a great artist, uh, probably will go down as being one of the great artists as Garbage Pail Kids continue to progress. But I picked up two Brady Back Ribs and Jess 
married. One of these will go out to a lucky viewer today. Um, I haven't decided which one I'm going to give away. So um, once I decide, I will go ahead and uh, send this out. But we're going to do a drawing for, for one of these. So um, again, to be involved in the drawings, all you need to do is uh, be a subscriber to the channel. Make sure you leave a comment and uh, give me a thumbs up. Again, not necessary. Just make me feel good. Throw your name in the drawing. And we're going to go ahead and draw for uh, one of those David Gross autograph cards. I think I'm going to go ahead and do, oh boy, I really like both of these so much. But I'm going to keep Jess married and we're going to give away Brady back ribs, that David Gross autograph. So this is the one that's going to go out. Let's pick a winner for this. So drum roll and the winner of the autograph card this time is... Well, hey, Tim Bailey, man. Uh, what goes around comes around. You helped me out with some Chrome 3, so congratulations, brother. Um, this guy truly is my brother from another mother. Uh, if you don't know, I'm from the Midwest. Tim even, now he lives on the East Coast, but he actually went to the same high school that I did. So, uh, Tim, congratulations. You are the winner for Jess, or excuse me, Brady-backed ribs. Um, so congratulations, Tim. Again, I'll pin your name in the comment. Go ahead and hit me up and I will get this sent out to you. Hopefully you enjoyed me taking you through a nostalgic walk of the old show and tell videos, talking about what's come in the mail. Um, I love doing these. Man, I love sharing what's all, you know, come in either through the Facebook groups or or through eBay or just even in the wild on occasion. I love sharing this with you. Um, some things I wanted to talk about, a couple people asked um, if they're getting into Garbage Pail Kid cards, they're new to collecting them or getting back into them, where is the best uh, place to pick them up? Um, the Garbage Pail Kids Marketplace on Facebook, the Garbage Pail Kid Collective on Facebook, um, deal or no deal for Garbage Pail Kids on Facebook. Those are a couple great places. If you want to get into the foreign market, you've got Garbage Pail Kids World Trade Center. Um, it's a rabbit hole. Things can get real expensive in that, but uh, that's a great place to look at some foreign cards. Mostly, um, just join the Facebook groups. Uh, be, be, be a good person. Um, be pleasant. Ask questions. Make friends. You'd be surprised. Uh, you know, I've got some great friends that uh, throw me some really good deals from time to time. Um, Robert Cash, I'm, I'm giving a shout out to you. And by the way, Robert Cash has a great channel called Cash's Treasures. Check him out. He does Garbage Pail Kid stuff. Um, you know, we trade from time to time. Uh, they sell stuff. They, they If they're getting rid of something, they'll give you a good deal. Just be a good person. Practice a good social media type uh, content. And and uh, you'd be surprised how far that takes you. Of course, you know, Craigslist and OfferUp, those are great things. Uh, eBay, of course. Um, GPK on a budget, just make sure you're checking sold prices, make sure the amount you're paying for it, you're not going to have any buyer's remorse. Um, you could check out Macari too. Um, I like Macari for the one-off weird things. Um, I see a lot of cool stuff that uh, Avo gets off of Macari. Um, he's got some really cool things from there. So I like the art and the one-off items that they offer. Um, and, and, and of course, don't forget about the wilds. Uh, check your, you know, antique malls and your pop culture type stores and vintage stores and your local sports card stores. Don't be afraid to ask if they have any Garbage Pail Kid cards. You'd be surprised and typically you can pick up things for pennies on the dollar. And hey, if you travel, stop into a sports card store. Uh, support us, uh, a local small business, number one, that's awesome. Number two, um, you might be surprised in what you find. So hopefully that helps some of my newer collectors and subscribers out there find out where you should be picking up items. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back again soon with Garbage Pail Kids number 27. I have a really cool package coming in the mail, kind of a grab bag thing. So I'm excited to share what I got from that seller and we'll see if it was worthwhile. Until then, uh, you guys all stay healthy. Take care. Talk to you again soon. Bye.